All right, now we're going to get into the good stuff. We're going to get into grabbing content from Amazon and sucking it right into your site. Super quick, super easy. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is you always get these annoying default uh, posts and pages when you set up your site. So you're just going to want to remove those. Goodbye, hello world. Just trash that. And pages. Goodbye, pages. All right, so go to WP Amazillionaire and to post products. So in here, we've got a built-in search engine. You can search Amazon products directly from this interface. So let me just go ahead and show you what happens. I'm going to go with a smartphone search. And it's just looking. Now here are a whole bunch of products that you can choose to post directly onto your onto your site. So what you're seeing here is the information that's relevant to you to help you decide whether or not you want to post this information on your site. So what you've got here is a kind of a semi-automated system. So you don't have to sit there and spend ages copying uh, affiliate link details from Amazon, downloading images, copying prices, doing all this, that and the other, but you're also, you're not quite at the other end of the spectrum where you don't ever get to vet the content that you're putting on your site. Automated uh, posting definitely has its place, but sometimes you're going to want to make sure that what's going on your site meets a few of your own personal criteria for whatever the goals of your site are. So what we've got here is the item title. So for example here, this will be the title of your post. You've got the image. This is going to be the image that shows up on your post. And if you click it, you get to see the full size version that will also show up on your post. Now you also get to see the kind of content that you'll be able to pull in from Amazon. So there's two different types of content that Amazon provides. It provides a description and it provides features. Now some products will have both and some will have none. So you'll see a little tick if there's a description available that we can pull in for you and you'll see a cross if there's not. So, um, And that's the same thing with other attributes here. You'll see a tick if it's available, a cross if it's not. So you can also then click this button here and you'll get a preview of the amount of content that you'll be able to show in the post if you decide to pull this product into your site. So. The, uh, the downside to some automated posting methods is you, you might only get a couple of lines of content and you're never going to know about that until you go and look and see what automated stuff is being brought in. With this approach, you can check and you can make sure that this is actually going to make a decent post on your site. So when you have decided that this is a product that you want to have in your site, all you have to do is choose either post and publish, which as the name suggests, will just post the the product directly to your site and it's going to publish it or if you think there's a few things that you're going to want to change you want to add in a review uh, a, a review score you want to add in some of your own thoughts on the product then you can choose post as draft and then you can you'll get a little uh, link that will take you directly to edit that post you can also choose the uh, the category that you want to have your post go into so this will by default this will show your default category but you can also choose a different category if you want so I might choose smartphones for this so then I just hit post and publish that's it now I click visit post and there we go this is all beautifully formatted straight off the bat so this is automatically linked to your affiliate link this is an automatically updating price this will refresh every 24 hours, so you're perfectly in keeping with Amazon's terms of service. It's not going to this price is not going to stay on there longer than 24 hours, and it's also not going to have to be refreshed every time someone new comes to the site. So it's the perfect balance. You have the image of the product is taken in here, and if you click it, again you get the full size image. So there you go, looking beautiful. So we're going to have a look at some of these others, and we're going to get a few in. See, so this is a nice amount of content and we're going to post that one this one looks pretty good too not as much content but still good we'll post that baby with a phone cute but probably not going to fit so we can skip that and you know just as a side note this is the kind of thing that would probably be included on your site if you are if you are searching just based on keywords and you're going 100% automated so this is what you can avoid having in your site with this approach 
and this one looks pretty good too. Post that. Yes, we like this one. Oh, no, we don't. Kids Delight. That's another pretend phone. We don't want that one. That's good again. Yep, we like that too. This all looks good. Really good content. And now, you'll also see if we go to the front end, everything is automatically beautiful. So check this out. This is brilliant. We've got automatically, we've brought all of these posts in. We have your affiliate link on every single one of these buttons. We've got an 100% accurate price displaying. This is your list price, so people can see how much of a discount they're getting. So this hasn't yet got nine posts on this page, so that'll that will fill up when we add more posts, and you'll see pagination here. And we have an automatically created slider. So this is just grabbing random posts from your store and creating a beautiful slideshow out of them. You've got your recent posts here, your categories, you can fill this sidebar up with anything you want. And that's how easy it is. So that's one of the posting methods is through the posting search here. You can continue to go on to uh, second, third, fourth, fifth, all the way up to 10 pages of available results for any search phrase that you want. So we can go, oh yeah, this is a good one, grab that, keep looking. This is so fast, so easy. So here's a, uh, just one more use case that I want to point out to you. Sometimes Amazon won't actually provide a, a price. There's a couple of reasons that this can happen. Uh, sometimes they, uh, they have prices showing on their site that are uh, a result of a special deal between the them or the vendor and the manufacturer of the product, but there are restrictions on how widely it can be promoted. So sometimes the API won't provide you with a price. So if that's the case, you'll just get a little uh, a little message that says see special price. So even though there's no price that you're actually allowed to show on your site, it's still going to look great. So I'll show you that. So here you go, see special price. So it still looks great. And you get the same type of message on the front page. So here you go, see special price. So no matter what is going on there, you're still going to have a great looking site. All right, so in the next video, I'm going to show you some of the other ways that you can post Amazon products with WP Amazillionaire.